Welcome back to another episode of This is uh, Amber. And we are going to aim for the head. Or the knee, for the matter. We also have to talk to Lin and whatnot and get a lot of items and whatnot and do other things and whatnot. But yeah, I want to. Yeah, first thing first. Let's just check. Uh, does it trigger a cutscene? Clear the nearby hill uh, camp. Come on, they're all level one. That's almost cheat. I want to get the crossbow though. So, um, first thing I want to test is how much damage a standard E skill does. Almost all of the health is done doing that. <laughs> I just have to get up there and see how much damage I can do to this creature. Um, why can't I climb? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanna... Can I, maybe I can destroy this structure. I cannot. Okay. So getting rid of this enemy is only possible with range attacks. Okay, so there's no way for me to aim for... Oh no, there is an auto-aim feature. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get the move stack check. Yep, barely broke a sweat. Actually, I got hit. Uh, those things are tougher... Uh, it's actually, no. Well, they probably walked up here. Why not? Maybe there's a better trade option. Whatever. Maybe it's just easier for them to survive like that. Hmm. Nah, not the wilderness. Come on. うん。あれ、そう。でも今日また さあ、私についてきて。真面目で優秀な騎士があんたたちを城まで守ってあげる。うん。Alrighty. Mm. Oh, it also tells me if the special ability is ready or not. And also, there was some kind of a orb floating around here. Just disappeared. Want to know what happened? I kind of like the trees in this game. They look cool. Nope. Climbing up there is still not an option. Can you actually... Yeah. What if you can grow trees yourself? That would be sweet. Do I? Oh. I need to check if I get adventure level 5 at some point, but no. Not gonna happen. Alrighty. We got. Uh, can be eaten once cooked. Uh, oh, can be eaten once cooked. As a spice, it can bring wonderful flavor to dishes. And filled with oil-rich seeds, certainly won't be growing into a tree from inside a cruel stomach. Well, what if it does? Poor squirrel. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So this is a uh, basic health boost, or like health regeneration. This is a health over time regeneration because of the additional crosses. Uh, this is, yeah, a resurrection. This is defense, and this is offense, isn't it? No, it decreases all party members' sprint stamina consumption. Okay, this means stamina. 
Um, and this means increase all. Yeah, this is defense. Okay, that's probably offense. But yeah, this uh, strong humanoid icon means stamina. Good to know. It's not a running icon. It's just, yeah, I'm strong. Okay, nice. All right. What about this one? Elemental Mastery 13. Uh, what's the one? That, oh, no, she has like, yeah, the crit rate and the bonus defense. Equip. What about that one? The Plume of Death. Adventurer set as well. I could exchange it with this. But this is just the traveling doctor. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I could, I could do that. I don't really need it. The problem is it's, it just has the same values though. Um... And I would exchange like a free set, two set with a two set, three set. So it doesn't really benefit me that much. Um, but yeah, does it say anything else? The feather of an exotic bird rarely seen on this continent. Uh, opening a chest regenerates 30% max health over five stacks. This is so cheesy. What else does it have? An adventurer once traveled through a forest in search of rare beasts never seen before. As he tore his way recklessly through the foliage, the adventurer tripped on a tree root. When he regained consciousness, he saw a girl so beautiful that he was willing to give up the adventurer's life to be with her. Her appearance was surreal, with a cluster of feathers adorning her hair. And this is one of those feathers. Do I have anything else to read up on? Like this thing, probably? The Plume of Death. Even the Pitch Black Knight could not stand. Da, 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 because why? Yeah, this is a traveling doctor thing. Hmm. Kind of think I kind of missed some of those. I don't <laughs> Ah, ah, uh, yeah, she can have that. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, go bit. What about the other stuff she had? No. Oh, like, look at this. I don't know what item she had. Okay, I know now no, that it's this. Uh, the doctor thing. Yeah, she has two doctor items. And one of these. Yeah. Uh, let's change this with a doctor item and a thing. Uh, no, wait a minute. One, two, and this is the adventurer thingy, damn it. Hmm. Hmm. And she already had, no, wait, what about the four? Using elemental burst restores 20% HP. Yeah, that is really useful. But do I use the elemental burst on her, or is it more the swordsman that uses it? Because that's the basic thing. So, now we have the three-piece thingy. Uh, that one can be switched with this one. Um, ah, we actually do switch the equipped item. That's nice. Then we have the two and... Oh, the two and the four. Of course, yeah, there are two effects. A strong one and a not so strong one, of course. Of course. Of course. Totally forgot that. Now. Mm, what about him? We still have the adventure and the uh, doctor boost on him. Uh, and there's no other way I can just get a better adventure. 
bonus here. But alright. The incoming dam Ooh. Maybe this is a really good combo. Because Amber will just heal. Hopefully also others. And we are getting that heal. Let's see what level those creatures are. Ah, uh, level 7. Yeah, that can be done, I believe. So, let's trigger them. And let's round them up. Nice. Nice. Three, two, one, back. Yep, that's pretty much it. I cannot switch to another character while being in aim mode. That's a bit iffy. Okay, what does the guide have to say? Elemental burst. Combat knowledge. Use an elemental burst. Don't. Using an elemental burst consumes all of that character's energy. Um, it's not just all of their uh, energy. It's just the burst energy. Use an elemental burst. Don't use an elemental burst. Consumes all of the character's energy. Uh, okay, so these are just yeah, two different. Huh. Screenshots. Light up. Ooh. And there's another one up here. Seems like the amount of ore increases <coughs> if you don't hit it with a sword. Okay, that was a stupid idea. There are some items down there. So now, do they disappear or do they just stay there? Uh, they still stay. Hey, some expert experience. That's the way it should be. And another adventurous flower. What's so special about this one? Maybe because it was just common. I haven't gotten a common one yet. Uh, yep. It's just the one star. That's why. Not really worth it. Like look at look at the difference. It kind of doubles too. You have 129. It actually does double. 258. And. Do I have a level 3 version of something? Uh, this is 5.2% on the watch. But it's that kind of watch. Uh, and this one, uh, this one has elemental mastery on it. So I don't know what a level 3 version of it would look like. Okay. Oh, because I can level up some characters, can't I? Hmm. Yeah, I can level this up once. Or a few more times. Like, every time I click on it, I will get an additional level. The problem is, I don't want to spend too many of those Moria coins. I can get them fairly easily, like, look at this. Uh, nine. Okay. So this is a level <sighs> that is more difficult to upgrade afterwards. So level 14 to 15 uses two. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 14 to 15 uses already two of the bluish upgrade pages. Uh, and the amount you have to spend for these upgrades. Don't even know how much you need to spend for this. Oh, okay. So this one gives you bonus 1,000 experience. This one gives you five times as much. Uh, and also the gold amount increases or cost increases by the same factor. So this is just 200 uh, and five times as much is basically 1,000. So it's a linear increase when it comes to that. 
there's no reason to not go for the highest or lowest or just use any item to level up her. So, um, but yeah, what about her? Uh, just using one of those pages. Wait a minute, what level is he? He's level five. She's just level one. What was there so much of a difference? Hmm. Like putting one level up on her only gives me a plus three. And this one is a plus five. Two levels. Kind of weird. For some reason, her requirement seems to be higher. Hmm. Don't quite get it. Okay. So then, we got the item, we got the stuff. Wait, what does the map say? Where we are at the moment. Uh, because there is this little star icon here. It means there's a thing. It's shown on the mini map, but it's not shown where I am at the moment. Or like uh, on, on the world map. Brain lag, brain lag, brain lag. Right, now we're up here. Oh, yeah, more pine cones. Aha. Uh -huh. What else we got? Berries. Alright, now where is, uh... Oh, we're level 10 one. Not just level 10, there's also some kind of energy sphere on top of it. So this marker might be really useful. Let's check that out. Uh, yeah. Let's start by going into aim. Oh, it also tells you how to go into aim mode. Okay, let's see. Uh, some elemental skills produce different effects, depending on whether you press or hold them. In this case, holding it down means you can throw it further. It says that at the end of the... Okay. Friendly fire is a thing in this game. Uh... I cannot move. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get their attention. Uh, maybe I should aim a little bit better. Yeah, the game actually pauses. That's nice. When Paru meets Dendro, it triggers burning, which continuously deals Paru damage until it wears off. That's nice. Because trees do burn. What about the other one? I wouldn't shield heal Charles God. Once of attacks using a wooden shield, which is compromised of dendro. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a way to set it on fire. So I kinda did that. And let's get to the other character and burst them. Burst them down. But yeah, I wanted to check how much damage I can do though. By just holding it. Yep. Uh, you can deal a little... Like, um, you can charge up your elemental attack. Your normal one. Uh, and every tick, it does a certain amount of damage. Um, but it, I think it is kind of better in terms of damage over time to just use the ability once wait for the cooldown to go down, and then use it a second time. Uh, that might be better when it comes to damage over time numbers. Instead, uh, like in comparison to charging up the ability and waiting longer for the next cast, because the initial instant trigger gives you much more damage. 
Uh, when animal meets certain other elements, it can trigger swill. Swill can deal elemental damage, uh, affect beings, and generate further elemental reaction. Hmm. So, animal. Some kind of wind-ish ability. I thought it was some kind of soul thing, but no, it's wind. Mm, meets other elements. So, the wind kind of makes things swirl. Makes sense. Uh, in this case, it can swirl fire. That's neat. How do you trigger the interaction? Like immediately. How do you do that? And also, what do we have here? Okay. But what happens if I... Give this item to one of those god statues. A substance that has accumulated intense animal energy. Offer it to the statue and help reinstate the power it has lost over the years. Uh huh. Power it has lost. Maybe this is what this red uh, field around it means. It would be its original power. Um, the red line uh, that I'm talking about is... No, this is not the red line. Okay, that has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Because that one is much, much larger. Weird. How would that statue benefit from a power sphere? Oh, it's already there. You don't have to go that much further, too. Sweet. So let's see. There's a different flower that I... Ooh ha What on earth are you? Damn. So, three... Bleh. Nice. Damn. So now we got some swirl effects. It has some shielding on it. So we have, I believe, to melt it first. Let's get the... Okay, we can't get the flower there. Hey. Nice. So it did melt. Uh, it's still immune. That's iffy. Uh, no, I don't want to kill the flower. I want to kill that thing. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, doesn't work like that. Ooh. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to get into the aim mode here. Wait for it. Bam. Now I, it melted, and let's just trigger this thing, and it's done. Perfect. Now how does this flower work? Maybe I have to melt the flower too. So, uh, the elemental reaction called melt. Melt itself does not inflict damage. However, the pyro or cryo attack that triggers melt deals increased damage. Uh, okay, so melting happens if you put fire and ice together, and it kind of, uh, uh, wait a minute, the attack that triggers melt deals increased damage. Hmm. So you can melt ice with fire, or you can kind of put water uh, uh, onto fire enemies as well, so you can kind of like balance their temperature level. The large cryo slime. A slime that uses a frozen cryo shield to protect itself. If you use pyro or other reactive elemental attacks, perhaps you can break through its defense. Well, I kind of managed to do that too. And what about cryo? Uh, being hit by a cryo attack leaves the victim affected by cryo. No shit. And decreases movement speed. When cryo meets other element 
this it often triggers an elemental reaction so let's see hey nice uh ooh. oh ho, ho, ho. look at that so you can pick up the mist flower if you melt the ice around it now, I haven't seen any effect like that in any other game. That's pretty sweet. But now the question is, uh, what else has to... Nah, that's not it. <coughs> we Yep. Dashing every now and then kind of feels better in terms of movement. Ooh, another chest. Some oh, yes, birds. Okay. Falling down is not a good idea. Walking. Wait, there's a camp there. There's a chest there. So let's get those quick. And then I can put this uh, energy sphere on this uh, statue of the seventh thing. Let's try something. Yes. Oh, that. It was a riddle. Hey, look at that. I actually just. There's another sword. No, 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 no. Why would you do that? This is again what I don't like. Like, the. the the items are just flung out of the chest, and then they can bounce anywhere, and I am losing my stuff. That's not cool. Like, why can't I just open the chest, immediately get all the items, and be done with it? Instead, I have to <coughs> run all over the place in order to obtain them again. Makes no sense. All right, now I got the ranged ability. Now I can uh, get those flying creatures too. So what are you? you? Go straight forward. That's perfect. And it leaves behind two meat items, probably foul stuff. Sweet. And this is maybe this one can be smashed. Not like that. Maybe you need a different kind of element in order to trigger this thing. Because it looks really suspicious. <laughs> or it's just some kind of ruin or whatever. Hmm. Alright. I have another sword here. The warden sword. Much wider one. Let's see if we can actually use it on. Mm, nope. No. So what else we got? Ah, uh, that's not special. There we go. The mist flower corolla. <laughs> a flower bud encased in solid ice. Even after being picked, the flower continues to emit cold. And you seem to only be able to pick it if you melt it. Now then, again we have some doctor thingy. Oh, wait a minute. This is, um, mm, again with the attack value, but this is a common one, uh, and it does not double when it comes to damage. Interesting. So it increases, I don't know, maybe there's a four point, maybe a three point nine. version here too like this one is 4.2 it's not the same but maybe the attack value stays 
Something like that. So what was that? Uh, an increase of 1.1% and another one by just 1%. So kind of weird. Uh, what's this one? The Waster Greatsword. A sturdy sheet of iron that may be powerful enough to break apart mansions if wielded with enough willpower. Why does this thing not have any description on it? And there's no one that is able to carry it. Of course. Oh no, this is level 15. But we do have burning abilities, don't we? <laughs> Three, two, one, fire. Yep, the burning effect is amazing. We can just do this until it's dead. Oh. Okay, so it seems to have a weak spot. And it also grows things around me. Look at this. Maybe it encases me. Maybe I should activate scroll now. Bam! Got it. The experience is minimal. And the item you get from those slimes is always the same. Slime condensate. I should at least activate the... Quick travel stone. So many chests. Hmm. The seasoned hunter's bow. How is that one better than the one that I have at the moment? Ah, it's just green, it's not blue. Uh, lower damage and everything. A bow that has been well polished by time and meticulously cared for by its owner. It feels almost like an extension of the archer's arm. <laughs> yes, there's also another ghosty. It's perfect. Uh, yeah. It's burning up. Okay, so there are fire flowers too. That's neat. Ooh. That might have been one of those swirl effects. Okay, wait a minute. He is already fiery. Isn't he? Nice. They don't seem to actually be beep. Burning. Oh, wait a minute. This one triggers the burn effect, doesn't it? Uh, so how do I freeze it? Can't pick it up there. I can trigger it. But I can't pick it up. I need a freeze character. I need a freezer. <laughs> Every time I just want to pick up that kind of thing. Work. Uh, yeah, that was that. Let's get to the ghosty. Ghosty, 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 ghosty. There you are. By the way, let's aim for the head. Bam. And now it's dead. Uh, wee. Yeah. Can't trigger this. 
maybe you have to uh, either use the glider or jump through this. Let's hope you can... Nope. Uh, jumping is not an option. I have to use the glider in order to make this work. So I have to come back here again. Um, yeah, it could be treasure. Confirm. The thing is, if you don't know about the glider, then you're just screwed. You don't know what happens here. It goes forward and forward and forward. Maybe we're just getting flung all over the map here. But putting those additional markers on the map is so cool. Really sweet. Like for an open world map. That's really necessary. Okay, what is this thing? Looks like death to me. Uh, yeah, it's level 7. Why is it deadly? What makes it so deadly? Ah. No, no, no. Okay, so sprinting is an easy way of getting out of aim mode. I don't know what happens if you kill that. No, it does not detonate. Uh, even more slime condensate. Ooh, what do we have here? And this one is an app. More meat. There it is. It can be taken all apart. Okay, this might be a wing thingy. Yeah, it's burning. Interesting. Oh, so getting rid of both of those slimes here triggered the chest. Oh no, that was stupid. Did not want to trigger that though. Not at the moment. It just uh, did it. Yeah, it already exploded. It does not follow you though. No, then wait a minute. There's one of those reddish, uh, glowy thingies again. Oh, there's a goat. What do we have here? About Hydro. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro. When hydro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Wet environments and okay, so standing in water, you get hydrofied. Basically, you get wet. <coughs> Couldn't get the fishy, ah, uh, the froggy. So where does this wisp go? Let's just call them wisps. They're like, although they're called seals or something. Okay, this one goes that way. Let's not miss it. There it is. Ah, fuck. That runs away again. What is so special about this creature? Ah. Might be another wing glider thing. Something else gets triggered. I knew it. It was somewhat special. 
Eins. Nice, 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 nice. And, oh, we got a goblet this time. And another bow. Hunter's music instrument uh, consists of the two sounds, the twang and the swoosh. I know about that already. And then we got a goblet. Um, Eonothem. What is the... Yeah, this is the goblet, and this is the other goblet. The difference is the damage, of course. Hmm. All right. Uh, Circle of Logos. I know that one, too. But yeah, the spoils of one of an adventurer's many expeditions. Though a little damage, it is still an excellent find. A an old golden goblet that the adventurer used to drink water. It is said that he found it in an old ruin. The exterior is engraved with ancient symbols and inlaid with a faded gemstone. Eventually, the adventurer bid farewell to the nomadic lifestyle. This old golden goblet was traded in for new shiny Mora. Yeah, because Mora is so much more important. Mm -hmm. Physical damage bonus, 5.2%. Is it worth it, though? That's always the question. Oh, wait. Hey, so what kind of item I can put on her? Doesn't really matter what I put there. It's either this, physical damage bonus, or just attack boost. Attack is more general, though. But physical damage. Hmm. Uh, but she also uses bow attacks and whatnot, but I try to get her elemental attacks most of the time. The thing is, what about the items of him? Uh, like he has those two. I would, but I would gain the four piece effect of the adventure, which is you get regenerated by opening up chests. It's nice to have, but I don't know. Maybe the increase by 20% in healing might be a better don't know. But 30% max health is pretty decent. Also, the damage boost is better. But this one is just physical damage. That's the thing. It does not increase my elemental damage as well. So attack damage increases everything. Mm, but elemental damage, of course, only... Improves elemental level. That's the weird, weird kind of thing here. So what do we have here? Another apple. A. Oh, we can cook. Interesting. But I want to get the apple thing. We can investigate. What do we got? Another reddish. Oh. So, instead of just destroying the barrels, we can investigate them, and, uh... Okay, no, investigation doesn't do anything. Destroying stuff gives you more rewards, as usual. That one cannot be destroyed, though. Now, uh, let's see... Pyro skills can't... Wait, wait. Light a fire first. Mm-hmm. Now it's lit. Ah, so what do we use? What do we end up with? Like the ingredients are nice. The problem is you need two different kind of ingredients and uh, don't have that many chicken legs. But it restores 8 to 10 percent of max HP and an additional 8 to 800 to 1200 HP to the selected character. Pretty sweet. Screw of mushrooms and poultry. Fresh poultry is complemented by fragrant mushrooms. Don't be picky. Chow down. 
Revive the selected character resource 50 to 150 HP. Okay, it's just there for making people live again. But the steak does the same thing. So, steaks and eggs, protein, heals you all the time. But this is much easier to obtain than eggs, though. Whereas you only need one of an one egg. But this one needs two meat. But meat is easier to get. Ah, weird. The reddish veggie soup. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Don't have that many reddishes. This one is also easier to get. Like this thing grows almost everywhere. Uh, the fowl though. That thing needs two... Ah, it's a damage boost. That's why it can get away with needing so many ingredients. A vegetable salad. Not just steamed potatoes and fresh vegetables, but also a hot boiled egg to top it off. Satisfying to both the eyes and the stomach. Increase all party members' crit rate by 6 to 12%. That is pretty decent. Uh, for... How much was it? 6, 5... Five minutes. Uh, in carb mode, this effect only applies to you. And we got another one. Oh. Okay. So is this everything that we can cook at the moment? Or everything that you can possibly uh, make with the ingredients that you have? No. I don't seem to have any ingredients here. But I'm still able to make a fisherman's toast for some reason. Or maybe I can make it because I have found a fisherman's toast. Maybe this is how this works. But then I would... Okay. So this one needs a radish. I have radishes. That's why it's available. Uh, this one is available because I have found a fisherman's toast. And this one might be available because of the fish ingredient in it. But there might be uh, even more uh, cooking thingies. What about this? I can also process certain kinds of foods. Seasoning derived from sweet flowers. So I can make sugar. This one need. Whoa. Takes three minutes. Like, what happens if I start that? Do I have to come back to the fire again? Pick it up. This one here is sausage. Finely minced meat wrapped in a skin, a staple of every meat lover's daily diet. Some creams, other stuff. Like making those in between ingredients, right? Hmm. But you need them. You need to. How do you make milk? There's no milk in here. There's just cream and cheese and whatnot. Um, this one though, you can make flour. These two you have to find. And milk. Yeah. How do you milk a cow in this game? Um, so, and the other artifact she can get is the... Um, yeah, what is the other one? Ah. Let's just give her that goblet. And be happy. Interesting. You only see the numbers when the items are getting closer to the screen. Like this one is at zero, this one was at zero, this one is at zero. There we go, now it vanishes again. You can't see the numbers below, only when they are right in front of your nose. Okay. I don't want to defeat them now, because... <laughs> first and foremost, there was this teleporter thingy. Uh, and then... Was that it? Yeah, this might have been it. And then that... Ooh, wait. Bam! Got the bird. Only got one thou though. What if I can just hit birds in the sky? 
Ooh, that would be a sweet thing. Now then, what is this? This is a challenge. Ooh. Fascinating. Bam. Okay, so getting enough meat from those creatures is really easy to do. Didn't even need to cook it, like, look at that. It's already well done. <laughs> so, yeah, the challenge seems to be something we can do. Mm -hmm. But not right now, maybe in the next episode. <laughs> Until then. Like and subscribe. Ta-ta!